Hello everyone, this is Gary Bennett at ExcelMe.com. Tonight we're going to be talking about Chapter 3 in my book, Objective C for Absolute Beginners. And we're going to be going over the Sample Objective C program in the book. This is one of our uh, live series of webinars that are recorded that I'll be publishing on YouTube. They're about uh, 8 to 10 minutes in length. And just kind of go over a brief, a, brief, a brief synopsis of each chapter, assuming I can say that. For those of you that are on the live webinar uh, tonight and can hear my voice and see my screen, go ahead and raise your hand on the control panel so I can uh, make sure if you have everything. And let me just make sure I got my volume up because sometimes it just likes to change. And it does. There we go. Okay. Thanks, Christian. I appreciate that. Okay, so um, we're going to go over the basic Objective C application, which is basically going to add uh, some numbers for us, and we're going to work with the data types um, for our numbers. So we've gone ahead and we've created a sample um, program, an Objective C program, using um, our foundation framework. So in case you haven't already built it and followed the instructions, you can say File, a New Project, click on Application, Command, and make sure you have foundation selected. Now, depending on which version of Xcode that you're using, your view will look just a little bit different. Xcode 4, which is in beta right now, which I can't uh, display because um, it's under NDA right now, but um, and previous version of Xcode, they look a little bit different. The options are a little bit different, but this is what you want. Command line tool, foundation, and hit choose, and you'll end up with your project. So the very first line in main, remember main is the main entry point of any Objective C, C, or C++ application. And um, inside of the uh, memory pool, which we'll talk about uh, in sort of a, a more advanced uh, topic and chapter in my book, um, inside of memory pools, what's set up for us to um, use to go ahead and store our memory and allocate memory inside of our application. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and initialize and declare three variables. The first variable is uh, first number and at the same time that we're or that we're declaring it as a float we're going to be assigning it a value of 2.27. Remember basically floats are um, numbers with de decimal points. Okay, and um, they can be as accurate with as many significant digits as we want. All right, and um, so we're going to declare two floats, first number and second number. Second number is a float, and uh, it's going to be initialized to 3.5. And then we're going to initialize a third variable, which is going to hold um, the, the sum of our two floats and we're going to initialize it. And it's always good practice, good form, to initialize your variables before you use them. All right, because you, you don't know the contents of them, and sometimes that can come and, and bite you. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the second number, and we're going to multiply it by 10, and then we're going to assign it to itself. And so as, um, as assignments occur with math, it's read from right to left, so it's going to do this and assign second number times 10, which is now going to be 22.7, is going to store it in second number. And then we're going to add 22.7 to 3.5. So second number is no longer equal to 2.27, we multiply it by 10, and now it's equal to 22.7 plus first number I'm sorry, plus second number, which is going to be, I said that wrong, sorry. 3.5 times 10 is 35. Thank you. 35. Doing some advanced math here. 35 is now stored as second number. Second number plus first number, which is 2.27, is now going to be into total sum. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and print out that value. Well, we, uh, we're going to print it out for now. Later on, we'll learn how we're going to print it out in, an I, uh, in our iOS applications. 
we're basically going to say um, using um, the Objective C style string, we're going to put our text and then how we want it formatted. And uh, in the book, in the chapter, it has the different format specifiers. Percent %f specifies, specifies a float, as well as we can go ahead and, and um, format it with how many zeros or if it is with exponent or anything like that with a float. Um, the other most common one is if these were integers, uh, percent %d or percent %i is, is what you would use for, um, for integers. And if it was a string that you were printing, it would be the at symbol. Okay, so let's go ahead and run the application and step through it in the debugger, look at what's going on, and um, see what we got. So I have a breakpoint set. I've put it in the breakpoint uh, in the gutter here. If you need to be refreshed on how to set breakpoints, and you can look at the previous recording on YouTube. We'll go ahead and compile. Oops, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's what happens when I'm changing code and talking at the same time. It's usually a scary thing. There we go. All right, so we got our breakpoint. Our code of our, our execution of our code is stopped right here on line 14. So we can go ahead and see what our variables are just by hovering over them. First number is 2.27. You'll see that how floats are handled um, in our variables a little bit different. Um, accuracy with floats is not necessarily guaranteed, and uh, if you want to do high performance and highly accurate float to manipulation or math manipulation you really need to look at using and buying a third party math library in order to accomplish that but here for the most part that's 2.27 and that's 3.5 and of course total num which is total sum which is zero so now let's go ahead and execute this line of code here and that should go second number should be equal to about 35 come on there we go alright so second number is 35 our total number is still 0 so we're going to take 35 and add to it 2.27 or thereabouts. <laughs> and now we should have 37.27 which is what we would expect and now we can go ahead and print that out to the council so if I execute this line of code here we should get that printed to the screen the total number is um, 37.27 and then we'll execute our next NS log sorry which is now um, going to print out the program has terminated successfully and we'll let the program now execute and uh, terminate gracefully and our application is done so tonight we learned a basic uh, basically how to handle some basic arithmetic and print out the numbers of the results as well as a little bit with the debugger and our next presentation will be the random number calculation and uh, guessing uh, application that we did in Alice uh, last week. Again, these presentations are um, every uh, Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Pacific time. If you'd like to join live and ask questions, be happy to have you. And um, I usually get them posted on YouTube within the next couple days and then also on my website at uh, along with the classes for the book at forum.xlme.com or the best way to reach it is just go to www.excelme.com give it a second there and just click on the training center that takes you to the forum and the recordings will be posted there as well as um, sample code and your questions as well again this is Gary Bennett Excel Me. thanks for joining us and look forward to having having you next week good night